the most generational crash house in the animal kingdom that's a lot of words i can't lie y'all gonna say in the comments that it's not a lot of words but when you gotta say it on youtube that's a lot of fucking words let's get into the video bro i wonder who we're gonna see today elephants oh my gosh that was a tiger is that, a, is that a goose? A geese? A goose? I can tell y'all one thing. Geese are definitely crash outs, bro. Because what is wrong with them? I be walking on my side of the street. They come to my side of the streets. They be on the other side of the street. They come to my side of the street and start fucking with me. Harassing me because I won't give them no goddamn bread. They don't need no goddamn bread. The f they over here. Ah, ah, ah. Yo, shut the f up. I got, oh, I have straight up beef with geese, bro. They be walking around like they some bad bitches when I'm in my car and won't get out the way. Just walking like they own the fucking streets and shit. Bro, I hate them, bro. It's like a backyard bully brawl. Crash Damn. Out. Here's the definition. And here's the definition, but in picture. And if it's not clear now, it will be by the end of this video. Crash outs exist in all walks of life. You wow. know what they say. Where there's a will, there's a way for a Chris to get rocked by a fresh prince flick of the wrist. But wow. today, we're going to talk about the biggest crash outs in nature. And there's a lot to choose from, so some had to get left off. I won't be talking about hippos, honey badgers, or Cape buffalo. Okay. I said my piece on this roid raging homicidal hydro horse on steroids. We already know Africa's black death is a hunter's nightmare for humans and lions alike. And I Damn, oh my gosh, what the fuck? What? For humans and lions. Yo, <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, I don't know what animal that was, but there's an animal in the sky and there's a bunch of them on the ground. What the fuck happened? It's a like, and I have an entire video on this biracial black air force hate mongering Hufflepuff. Wow. <laughs> but wow. what I will talk about are rhinos as i've said that rhinos are legally blind terminally traumatized anxiety tanks that'll buck up to anything from a butterfly to a buffalo except i was wrong recent studies show that the eyesight of rhinos might not even be that bad it's just their attitude which means that rhino fully punted a warthog purposely and unprovoked this one received an assault on eight wheels and still went for a literal headshot there's a reason why a group of rhinos is an honest to god crash but they're not even the biggest crash outs in africa that would be elephants. I knew it. Like literally, they're the I've biggest. I've heard. Whoever made this up actively helped escort people off the census. Elephants brain react to humans the same way that humans brain react to puppies. They think we're cute. My life has had no greater joy than knowing elephants think I'm cute. So you're telling me that an elephant will walk up to me, pet me, and then slice my head off or choke me out? Cause you know, elephants got them big ass trunks. Uh, you know, they can do a lot of things with them. Oh, they can choke me out, bro. What the hell? First of all, I will get very anxious if I was really close to an elephant. Like. That shit's so goddamn big, bro. I will just run away. As soon as I see an elephant walking the streets, I'm skedaddling, bro. What the fuck? I'm not about to play no games. They ain't about to come up to me and pet me and accidentally kill me. Which they don't need help doing since elephants flatlined over 600 people last year. See, it look, until exactly. Must that they really become crash out kings. I'm not playing Lust with them, bro. A sudden burst of hormones turns elephants into 12,000 pound drunk lusting frat boys. The word must even comes from the word intoxicated and a down bad bull's testosterone levels can spike 60 times higher than normal. Huh. And that's where the crash out comes in. No animal is safe from an entitled elephant that can't handle rejection. Not even baby elephants. So basically, the elephant gonna wanna f me. And then if I say no, it's gonna wanna crash out. And it's like, if I can't have you, nobody can. See, I knew, like, every, it don't matter what you are, woman, man, elephant, you gonna wanna f me. That's what it's seeming like. I pull bad bitches and I pull bad elephants. Not even baby elephants. Eating a toddler because his mom won't relieve you? Crash out. But the real degeneracy didn't show itself until humans got involved. Yeah, it's it's that kind of story. Poaching Damn. is evil, we all know it, and it's often the older, more mature bulls that get hit the hardest, for obvious reasons. What wasn't expected was removing elephant OGs from the population meant that the younger, immature teenage bulls and must got even more out of pocket. And what do you Crash get house. when you have Young unruly six ton pests with no father figure to keep them in line? Eh, hell if I know. There wow, was a period what the? What? What did I just see? Basically, elephants have young niggas. YNs. YNs of elephants. I like the way it sounds, bro. YNs are just a new thing, a new term that everybody's using. And it seems like everybody has YNs. Humans, elephants, bears. YNs are just a generational thing. <laughs> 
There was a period in the 90s where three young bulls that got rejected by their own kind, resorting to violating and killing not one, not two, not ten, but 63 rhinos. 63? This for an elephant apparently means turning a rhino from a tight end to a whiteout, and it wasn't until the season more mature bulls were brought back in that the rhino ravaging eventually stopped. And it's not just males that can choose violence. We can't forget that time an elephant traveled across India just to life deprive a 70 year old senior citizen while she was getting water. For context, I remember that. an elephant escaped from the Dalma Wildlife Sanctuary and traveled over 100 miles to the Rapai village in Odisha. Being homicidal for over 100 miles straight is already menaced behavior. What solidified That's it premeditated. was that same herd pulling up to that woman's funeral later that day and paying everything but respects. And that same elephant <laughs> grabbed her soul. I remember that. I remember that, bro. R.I.P. I truly remember that though. The elephant pulled up to the funeral. I forgot the full story, but I know the elephant for sure pulled up to the funeral. That is hilarious. I cannot lie. Cause ain't no way. He 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 walked hours to murk you and then spun back to your funeral to do what? <laughs> And that same elephant grabbed her soul evacuated zero HP body and proceeded to put her in the negatives. Basically, she got put on a shirt except the shirt was reversible. And after desecrating her corpse, dessert was destroying the woman's house along with several what others. What did she do? Now, many have said the woman Maya Murmu had it coming and was involved in poaching and this was a case of an elephant not oh. forgetting or forgiving. It also oh. could have been someone's grandmother getting murked twice and memed on Twitter all because of RNG. We'll never know the why, but what we do know is my favorite animal. Is that a picture of Oprah sitting with the elephant having an interview if you don't get this off my goddamn screen what the fuck but what we do know is my favorite animal is capable of crash outs of catastrophic proportions and now we got the smallest crash out in the world when a colony of kalabops' saunder sea ants gets attacked some of the soldiers will rupture two huge poison filled glands and literally blow themselves up why don't just suppose kamikaze they also rain a toxic corrosive glue that either traps the op ants in place or just burns them alive it's self-sacrificing altruistic behavior meant to defend the colony but that is one hell of an escalation we got kamikaze ants termite also has a concept of kamikaze themselves and they have toxic glands that actually grow as they get older that means the same old worker termites with dull mandibles that can't fight or forge as well as their juniors also carry the most potent explosive backpacks in the colony so their last act of service Service involves eviscerating themselves in a rain of internal organs, intestines, and toxins, which proves that the most dangerous crash out is the one with nothing left to lose. For reference, <laughs> that that's is like true. Into a house, and the last thing you see is a senile 90 year old rushing you with a bomb strapped to their chest. But the wildest crash out might be what P aphids do once a predator breaks into their home. P white. Not only will soldiers come together and turn themselves into fleshy fireworks, they'll use their own bodily fluids to plug up the opening. Even if it means they get left outside in past tense, even if it means they suffocate on their own insides, and even if the process senses subtracts them instantly. It's one thing to self destruct the back pedal of predator, or even after already being eaten which aphids actually do using flex seal made out of your own guts for home repair is exactly the type of behavior this what? video is about but if elephants violating the natural order didn't already tell you the worst crash outs are the ones humans created and this black air force b is the result of one of the biggest oopsies in human history Pardon back me. in the 50s african bees were brought to brazil and crossbred with their more domesticated european cousin. why why did we do this? Oh my gosh, bro. The human race is really stupid. Why did we do this? See, this is something that should I be talking about, bro. Leave animals alone. Y'all over here crossbreeding bees. For what? What did it make? A yellow jacket? Like what? For why did we do this? Y'all just want to humans just be doing dumb. This, this is why aliens leave us alone because we're going to start crossbreeding aliens to make the perfect race. A xenomorph or whatever it's called from goddamn movie Alien. I don't understand why we do shit like this, bro, because of curiosity. What y'all think the honey gonna taste different or something? No, that's not how that fucking works. I don't get it, man. Back in the 50s, African bees were brought to Brazil and crossbred with their more domesticated European cousins. The idea was, if they could combine the two, they could create a bee that was more efficient than the Europeans in tropical climates, while also being less defensive than the African counterparts. I told you. But in one of the most consequential ups possible, a local beekeeper accidentally released 26 swarms of Africanized bees, including queens. But experts said not to worry, that the bees would either die out in the foreign climate or they get did. out of existence by the already they present adapted. European bees. Did we not I learned anything from Charles Darwin they adapted that's not even the same thing <laughs> 
evolution is bro they evolution in two, two or three weeks bro two or three weeks these would either die out in the foreign climate or get bred out of existence by the already present european bees who guess but actually no by the 60s they made it across the country by the 80s they hit mexico by the 90s they were popping up in the u.s and today the africanized assault has spread throughout america like a rageaholic rash oh my god here's the thing with playing god with bees you better be prepared for hell these <laughs> africanized bees were way meaner than anything this side of the atlantic had ever seen they were way more aggressive much less forgiving and the same honey merchants that were enough to legitimately punk elephants, that's not a joke by the way, were doing numbers on unsuspecting people. You see, where European bees might send 10 to 20 guard bees after you, the Africanized flying mob will pull up in the hundreds. Oh and where my European gosh. Bees might chase you for uh, a couple feet, the African variety will chase trespassers for a quarter of a mile, assuming you even get that far. The irony is, African bees have smaller hives. That means these gang flies weaponize a higher percentage of their hive just to go after you. This is the, the biggest fuck The very fuck smell up. of bee venom is like a Batman signal to the rest of the hive, and you realize just how badly that one beekeeper screwed us over. He screwed Speaking us over venom, bad, bro. How did he release so many bees? This is an idiot, bro. An idiot. First of all, they're idiots for even crossbreeding bees. Why did, like, why y'all want to make better bees y'all don't let nature be nature bro what the f you probably know that honeybees die after stinging since the stingers are barbed and attached to their abdomen causing attacking bees to literally disembowel themselves but what you might not know is that stinger will continue pumping venom into you long after the bee has become a was now really that's just doing the most that's how you get stories of people being chased by vindictive swarms oh and by the way it's proven if you try to duck the fate by jumping in the water they will wait sometimes they will wait consequences in 2013 a texas man died after they're being spawn camping one thousand times and the bees still had a he died what 2013 a texas man died after being stung over 1000 times and the bees still had enough malice left over to leave his wife and daughter with a hundred apiece it says oh my gosh oh <laughs> my gosh these are definitely crash outs that's why i don't mess with bees Bees and wasps are on my list of insects I will probably run away from. I don't care if I'm on a date with the baddest bitch ever. If I see a wasp, I'm gone. I, it's been times that this is a real thing. I will be with a group of people, I see a wasp, and I will just walk away. I won't even say shit to them because if y'all see me walk away, we black. We know what's going on. I walked away for a reason. I walked away with some swiftness too. It was like this, y'all. I'm over here with it, right? We talking. I see a wasp. I'm not playing games with these animals, bro. These insects cannot attack me no more. I've gotten stung one time, and that's all I needed to know that I will never get stung again. Knock on wood, because I don't want to get stung, bro. B still had enough malice left over to leave his wife and daughter with a hundred apiece. It says a lot that mm. the dietary habits of the crash out mascot might have helped create one of the most infamous crash crowds in the air. But Sheesh. not all crash outs are fueled by hate. Some are powered by love. Courting bald eagles will interlock talons and plummet down towards the earth only to separate at the last possible second. Because apparently feathery foreplay what? means death spiraling in a questionable game of chicken. Apparently, it's to test each other's fitness as a possible partner you know separate mm. the strong from the strongest except it does the opposite when the entangled avians crash land into trees water or sometimes straight pavement and take each other out the dating pool and wow. bald eagles made for life so where do you even go after your vow renewal turns into a wake that only one of you is conscious for a study showed that eagles will also death spiral with rivals so it's really a case of either f me or fight me or just don't waste my time but that makes even less sense because love least hate the logic is you're trying to find the strongest most eligible single to spend the rest of your life with handing death a two for one bogo deal because you had beef and literally couldn't let it go is the definition of crashing out at least yeah. when it happens with deer like moose you know it's really bad luck but voluntarily what? interlocking toes just to die with someone you claim to hate like what's really going on here <laughs> but that relationship's nowhere near as toxic as the house sparrows it's like Tweety listen to NBA young boy. It's a honey badger with wings and an op to every other bird, but especially their own kind. Okay, so the crashing out is caused by the fact that house sparrows are monogamous and mate for life. They're also serial cheating air strumpets, and 15% of sparrow children born aren't even related to the male raising them. Cheating isn't a foreign concept to birds. Thoughts and prayers out to the- <laughs> This little thought bird? What did you- What? <laughs> you just described to me a thought ass bird, bro. What? That is the craziest thing to say. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thoughts and prayers out to the penguin that got dogged out, got his cloaca kicked by his wife's boyfriend, begged for her back, got beat again, only to get rejected and bust his ass a third time. Yeah, no way he goes out that sad. Male sparrows that suspect their partner of cheating get their revenge by purposely feeding their children less, bordering on starvation. 
The thing is, that is he has so no way of knowing up. which chick's actually his. He only goes by how much time the mother spends away from the nest. Basically, mm. imagine your dad stars you within an inch of your life, all because your mom spent the equivalent of 10 extra minutes at the grocery store. But female sparrows ain't screwed either. The difference is, she cheats with better genetic quality, or you could say high value males. Mm. While the male cheats Just like real life. Just like real life. Hey, if I ain't learn anything from this video, a woman gonna be a woman. Am I right, Jack? Don't dislike my video. I'm not a misogynist. I was just joking. It has some truth to it. All jokes have truth. <laughs> Y'all gonna learn real soon that women will leave you for a high value man. If he provided more, she gonna cheat. She gonna suck that better genetic quality or you could say high value males while the male cheats to spread his seed as far as physically possible except that the female catches on to the cheating she responds by slaughtering his entire family children what and, and it's scientifically proven that butchering the babies offers no advantage to the offending female it's just why over the game cheating's never right but when your get back gets children buried you have lost the plot especially since the females most likely to commit baby cancellation are second wives as in they got with a cheater got with him due to cheating only to wipe out the entire first family she knew what she signed up for she knew exactly what she signed up for what's wrong with women these days they sign up for this shit, but can't take the heat man and now they want to blame the bro like you knew what the fuck it was also i just thought about it she also has no way of knowing which chicks are his that means she really just life retires any baby sparrow she comes across yeah that's a crash out of the highest order and right up there with them has to be this frog. It's a culinary crash dummy off the fact that the Argentine hey. frog would rather choke to death trying to swallow something physically bigger than they are than just give it up. Scientists have found expired frogs with their stomachs torn open out of pure stubbornness. It's a gluttonous breathing pot of greed card come to life. Not only that, they're terrible swimmers, embarrassingly bad jumpers, and yo, they don't even rib it. Fooled them, sold every aspect of being a f don't ever have me in a room with these damn buffoons. That shit just screamed like a little kid, bro. What the hell? Sometimes when animals make noises I don't think they're gonna make, it scares me more. Like, why the hell is this frog making that noise? Fooled and sold every aspect of being a frog just to moonlight as Jabba the gut. They can even develop amphibian corneal lipidosis where they hold on to so what? much fat they literally accumulate fat deposits on their eyes that blind them. To be fair, it's usually from overfeeding in captivity, but my brother in Christ, even Nakado Avocado put the fork down at some point. Especially since frogs can't vomit, the best this kitchen crash out can do is fully eject their stomachs. But luckily, they're not a threat to you. Next is a crash out that the majority of the American audience has to sidestep on a daily basis. Which is funny, because the Canada goose nearly got put on an eternal milk carton due to overhunting and habitat. Hate them goddamn fact, animals, bro. I hate these goddamn birds, bro. Bro, these goddamn geese. I promise you, they walk around like bad bitches on the street, bro. It only makes me want to hit them more, bro. It drives my hate. I think me and geese might have like a crash out history or something like it might be a generational beef because ain't no way I hate this bird this much. In fact, we fully thought they were out of stock in the 50s until a small flock was found in Rochester, Minnesota. And with the help of the Migratory Bird Treaty Act in the U.S. and the Migratory Birds Convention Act in Canada, along with conservation efforts, the Canada goose was able to make a comeback. And humanity and Man. geese lived happily ever Is absolutely that why I can't not. run them over? Yeah, the cobra chicken came back with a vengeance. I called the sparrow an airborne honey badger. Nah, nah, nah. It's this barcoded assault with wings. Easily the most undeserved I hate that bird. I've ever seen on an animal. And that's what? really what it is. Why the hell were you scared for? It's a fucking bird. You're a tiger. If you don't growl at that motherfucker, the f man. See, that's that stuff I be talking about, bro. You got these little ass birds, these little chihuahua birds over here scaring you away when you the big dog, the big cat, the big pussy. Yeah, you are a big pussy. I'm not going on. The way you're just looking. God damn, man. I expected more from tigers. Now they just like some big Easily the most undeserved arrogance I've ever seen on an animal. And that's really what it is. This damn velociraptor has some wildly irrational confidence. Like a gorilla? A monkey? A monkey? A fucking big really monkey? This damn velociraptor has some wildly irrational confidence. Caesar would never. Caesar would never, bro. I'm about to call Planet of the Apes to make another movie. Apes against geese. Bro, I hate this shit, man. I swear, bro. I'm about to write my own script. Damn, Velociraptor has some wildly irrational confidence. They're like Family Guy. They nearly got canceled, came back, and by God, do they not miss a chance to punish us for it. Even Sully's heroic landing in the Hudson wouldn't have even been needed if a goose didn't try to run a fade with a plane. Just prove that you can get a lot of mileage out of false, unearned valor. Because it's a bluff. 
geese nest on the ground, so they only really can respond to a threat to minor safety by implementing the honey badger method, by raising hell until you meet someone that takes you there. Add the fact that they've managed to lose their fear of humans and you have a honk happy threat to national security. I've even read reports Man. that apparently look- The next time I see a geese, and he do some shit like that to me, I'm punching in his face, bro. I'm not lying, bro. Like my hatred for them, it's, they just do whatever they want. And I've seen it. I've seen them chase down friends. I've seen them chase down cars. I've seen them attack babies. Yes, they attack babies, chat. I have beef with them, bro. I've even read reports of them apparently luring chasing dogs into deep water just to attack and harass them until they eventually drown in exhaustion. To be fair, you could just Leash your dog? Complete opposite of chimpanzees, my word. Probably a top three crash out in nature, cause you really never Wait, know what, what the heck? With thumbs off. Really never, my word. Probably a top three crash out in nature. It threw a water bottle? <laughs> Yo, chimpanzees, they're so unpredictable, I would hate to be around them, bruh. You would think y'all are cool, and next thing you know, it start clawing your face. I've heard the stories. Because you really never know what could set this chainsaw with thumbs off. Change your hairstyle for the first time in 10 years? Yeah, you just lost your face privileges. Push one I year told y'all I heard about that. Too far. Call it Kaizen the way you about to get your jutsu jump. Do a f***ing barrel roll? Absolutely not. Not in these parts. Chimps and really primates in general have <laughs> some haters. fairness. Do something they view as unfair? Oh, buddy. You finna find out why they're the prime ministers of unproportional reactions. This man decided to surprise his former pet chimp with a chocolate cake for his birthday. The real surprise was two male chimps getting out and mutilating the man for not serving them a slice first. I'm not gonna list the full extent of his injuries, I have a full video doing that. Just know, the first two hospitals denied him entry because they- Oh. My. Gosh. They really wanted some f***ing cake. Do you know how much of a crash out you have to be to escape and go f*** his face up because he didn't give you cake? Sharing is caring. Just know, the first two hospitals denied him entry because they literally thought he was a lost cause. Monkeys in captivity have also been known to- Is he alive? Hold on, hold on. Is he alive? Is he alive, bro? Like, is he still breathing with us? Damn, bro. Imagine going about your day, think you about to do a good act of service, and then you get mutilated by monkeys. <laughs> Not funny. Bro, this is so messed up. I will start doing campaigns to make America great again. I'll join Trump rallies. I'm like, I hate fucking my guys. Monkeys in captivity have also been known to mob a member of their own for receiving more food than the others. And when I was eight, a chimp temper tantrum nearly had me halfway to Helen Keller. Almost had me rocking the Nick Fury fit. And we cannot Damn. forget that time monkeys in India went on a campaign of dropping dogs from roofs after one allegedly attacked a baby of their own. Yeah, primates are some Hall of Fame crash outs. Question is, what could That's possibly Koba. That's be Koba. more destructive? Well... Oh, a tiger. Nah, nah, I seen what you did earlier. I seen that little pussy shit. You ran away from a geese. Don't come up here trying to intimidate me and shit. Back the fuck up, bro. I know you're a pussy for real. Tigers are easily one of the most vengeful creatures alive. And the moment this striped population control wants you dead, you might as well lease a casket. There's plenty Damn. of stories of tigers going from zero to a thousand. In 2007, three teenagers that may or may not have been under the influence taunted 243-pound Tatiana the tiger, reportedly Why? even pelting her with pine cones from a slingshot. What? Tati cleared a 12-foot low, severely mauled two of the teens, and killed the third. In oh 2016, a tiger ripped apart an Just infamous poacher dumb. named Baby only four days after his group of reportedly shot his mate. In 97, a hunter named Vladimir Damn. Markov not only shot a tiger, but had the audacity to steal his kill. As a result, the whisker John Wick stalked his cabin, tore anything that smelled like him to shreds, including his mattress and bedding, and apparently even demolished an outhouse Markov had used. As you can mm. guess, the story ended Damn. around the same time Vladdy did, once the Siberian assassin was there to greet him at his house. And then there's this. The backstory is that a mother tiger and her cubs had ventured beyond the boundaries of a park and had injured cattle in the process, so rangers went out to capture and relocate the trio. They successfully tranked and removed the cubs, but the mother was nowhere to be found. That was until about right here. The enraged mother cleared a full-grown elephant and managed to mutilate the mahout riding it, taking several fingers with her, and the oh. fury on four legs was never seen again. Oh my but gosh! The most infamous big cat crash out came in the early 1900s. I take it back. I don't even know if it was a tiger earlier against the goose. You've earned your respect. If that was a tiger, that was just one tiger. This wasn't, and that doesn't really set the example for all the tigers in the world. That tiger obviously wasn't really a tiger. It was a white tiger, like. That's why I ran away. These are the real tigers. Again, 
I don't even know if that was really a tiger. I don't really know animals. I'm not a professional. <laughs> when a tiger dubbed the man eater a jumpa what killed 436 people, giving her the highest human body count of any single animal. I and want it was no smoke. That the cause was a cripplingly debilitating tooth injury that forced her to go after easier prey. And that's the thing I do want to mention. I know I had fun with the crash out concept, but really all the tiger was ever guilty of doing was what came naturally. And that really goes for every animal on this list. Tatiana wouldn't have had to die and take someone's son with her if they hadn't gone and tested her killer. Travis was an overweight, socially stunted, Xanax-consuming time bomb that some woman Xanax? decided to keep inside as a pet. Even the whole Elefino mess started with poachers destroying and fragmenting their families and probably giving the pachyderms oh. PTSD. So basically, humans are the cause for a lot of this. Makes sense. I told y'all, humans be fucking shit up. They over here trying to mate bees and stuff. I'll joke around and stuff for comedic effect, but I'm not actually out here judging animals by human standards. Because he said something real before he got Chris rocked and left with Fresh Prince. Talk about the tiger went crazy. That tiger ain't go crazy. That tiger went tiger. But yeah, that's... <laughs> Hey man, if y'all enjoy stuff like this, let me know in the comments below. Honestly, I need y'all to comment what other content y'all want me to check out. And if you did like this, hit the like button, subscribe, turn that bell. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching.